Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now, you might recognize these. These are Master's Touch alcohol-based markers from Hobby Lobby. And you realize that a couple weeks ago, maybe like a month ago, I did a review and I compared Master's Touch markers from Hobby Lobby against Michael's Artist Loft markers from Michael's. Now, Master's Touch is Hobby Lobby's brand new line of alcohol-based markers. And a lot of people were asking me and asking me because they were watching me on Instagram and then I was reading my comments on the review of versing both of them together. As you can see, they have a chisel tip and brush tip, just note that. So I was getting all these questions during Mermaid and just reading the comments, back to my original, original thoughts, um, in the comments on that, the versus markers, the Master's Touch markers versus Artist Loft markers, I saw a lot of comments about how the Michaels Artist Loft markers were, like the felt tip ends of the brush tip pins were actually coming apart and fraying and not, and I know what fraying markers are like and I did a review on Master's markers, Master Markers, which is another brand of alcohol-based markers. Nothing related to Master's Touch whatsoever. So the Master Markers, I'm very familiar with that brand fraying at the ends and not, and just completely destroying themselves. And I found that they leaked after they frayed and they were just horrendous markers and I had no idea at the time. So it happens to be Mermaid right now. And during Mermaid, I wanted to challenge myself to try to use Master Touch markers from Hobby Lobby this entire Mermaid season. Now I didn't really get to draw as much because my life was chaotic this past May month. So I tried to keep it as simple as possible. At first I started with the markers that you saw, that original purple set, the purple pink set that I got and that I showed you in that video. I started with that and I was happy. So then I went back to Hobby Lobby and then I saw that they had blenders with the Master's Touch markers. So I bought a set of two blenders. After I bought the two blenders, I then noticed more colors. So the thing about what's really nice about these markers is that they are very inexpensive. And you're kind of wondering why last time I checked they're $29.99. Well, I know the whole system with Hobby Lobby that Master's Touch goes on sale every other week. So it, it's like a pattern that one week Master's Touch will not be on sale. That is Hobby Lobby's brand. And then the other week it will be on sale. It will not be on sale. It will be on sale. It just jumps every other week. So you have to go in when Master's Touch is 50% off in order to get these markers for $10 a piece. Now the thing is about these... It, they are really great quality and I have been using the same markers over and over and over this entire month and if you follow me on Instagram then you would notice I have not stopped using Master's Touch markers throughout the entire month of May. Yes, I kept going and buying more and more and as you can see it grew up a huge collection because I was moving from state to state with my husband because I'm married now. <laughs> so I moved from North Carolina to Indiana and I just packed up all my art supplies and my Copic markers and I sticked with the Master's Touch. And I just, I really like them. And people were asking me on Instagram, do you like them, do you like them? Yes, I really like them. These are my go-to markers. I even took my Ohuhu markers and I gave them to my sister-in-law because I wanted to have the space for the Master's Touch markers. So yes, the big question you're wondering, Priscilla, do you like these markers? Would you recommend them as a beginning artist? Absolutely, you have no idea. I even saw a kid standing in the Hobby Lobby aisle staring at the markers after he saw me pick up a package and I kind of like walked back and I went, dude, these are the best markers ever. Now, there is one downfall to the Master's Touch markers and it might just be a glitch with them or it could be my Illo sketchbook that you see me drawing in right now. It could be a glitch with that, but right now, it seems that the yellows and the oranges are bleeding onto other pages. For example, I, I kind of wanted to draw 
on the next page so you know you look at the spread and you've got the left side that's open and the right side that's open. But I carry my Illo sketchbook with me everywhere. Now I've been in some really heated places where it's been outside in the heat. And it seems that the yellows are bleeding onto the next page or they'll bleed through onto the next couple pages. So one of my drawings was actually covered in yellow ink and it's from the alcohol. I have not noticed this with any other color except yellow. And that might just be a first round glitch on, you know, because this is, these are really new. These were released, I think two months ago. So these are a new kind of thing that Hobby Lobby has released. And that is the only downfall I see so far. It has been compatible with everything else. As you can see at the beginning of the video, I lined with my Copic liners and I've even lined with Micron liners and they all get along great with the master's touch. They do not bleed. They don't try to bleed or anything. It's, it's a great, um, they don't, they don't really bleed through onto the next page. Now this is an illo sketchbook, so this is really heavy paper. It could just be that the ink and the acid in the paper, yes, there's acid in paper. It could just be that it's not mingling well. This, I've never had this problem with other brands before, not the Ohuhu markers and not the Copic markers. I've never had the problem of yellows bleeding onto the next pages. And that was just, that was the downfall. And I would stay tuned it, because I'm gonna do a sketchbook tour pretty soon because this is the first mermaid I have ever completed but I was just crazy if I didn't get to draw and I was addicted to these master's touch markers and I just had to do it. No, this isn't sponsored. Uh, Hobby Lobby has no idea who I am. <laughs> so yes, I thought I would go ahead and share this with you guys because these are great inexpensive markers. They're fantastic. They have not frayed. That is mainly the reason why I wanted to continue the whole month of May with Mermaid is to prove that they don't fray. They do not fray at all. They are great, great markers and I would invest in some immediately. They seem to work on every type of sketchbook paper. I've, I even tried it on basic sketchbook paper, just trying out my colors and making swatches. But yes, guys, if you have Master's Touch, leave in the comments down below how much you like them. And if you're going to get them, I would love to know. Yes, guys, have a most wonderful day and I'll see y'all later. Happy end of Mermaid! It's the last day! <laughs> Bye.